Welcome back to more Dark Duel stories, everybody. All right, so in between episodes, I went ahead and defeated those opponents additional times each. Uh, Ishizu actually gave me a bit of trouble. I ended up losing twice to her when I was grinding for the five wins, as you can see, seven battles total. Yeah, um, the other ones, I mean, whatever. I mean, I lost to Paradox one time on screen. Slicing, did I lose to him on screen or off screen? I don't even remember anymore, but whatever. The point is, they've all been defeated five times that actually unlocks the fourth tier of the game it's only one opponent dark knight which i will get into in just a little bit before that though i'm gonna go here into construction because i'm gonna make a few more of these um so yeah let's do this i'm gonna get a bunch of these cars because now my you know my um my deck capacity is now much higher since i have you know defeated those opponents three times each for a total of what 12 more victories so that's pretty good that's pretty good stuff. Alright, this is one good one here. Um, basically, in between episodes, I was actually looking, you know, at like what, um, which ones are good and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all those. So the next one is 1252. I saw a good one here. There we go. Look at that one. Only 22 costs. Jesus. Next one is 40. Oh, God. 4831. Hold on. I'm going to skip that one for now. 51... 55 one 62 oh god they're all okay never mind you know what let's let's go for that one let's do 4831 oh Jesus this will take a little while right but you know what it's worth it in the end it's worth it um, hopefully I can add all of these I don't know if I will be able to though one thing I will say is that I also ended up getting um, a dark elf randomly from I think it was a Shizu when I beat her one time I was like, oh, that's cool. That's another 2,000 attack right there, and that cost is 28, so that's pretty good for Dark Elf, you know? Anyway, the next one is uh, 50 and 1, 55 and 1. Oh, shit. Oh, you know what? Let me go to 62 and 32 first. That one's not too far. Right, look at that one. Another one. And then 64 and 20. 64 and 20. Oh, whoops. There we go, that one. And then lastly, 68. And... Oh, shit. And 59. Okay, whatever. That's actually fine. There's uh, three more. 68, 59 is one of them. There we go. Oh, wait. Well, I can get multiple of those, huh? Well, actually, hold on. Before I... I don't think I need to get another one, though. It's fine. 50 and 1 is another one. Uh, that one's not too bad. Actually, I'll do 50, 55 and 1. That's uh, right over here. That one. And then 50 and 1. 30. That's okay. And that's it. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go into campaign. And let's go ahead and take on Dark Knight. But I'm going to make some edits first. There it is, tier 4 just says Dark Knight, that's literally it, that's all it says. So let's go ahead and take on Dark Knight. You've come a long and perilous way. I am Dark Knight, win five times and my secret password shall be yours to keep. Okay, cool. Let's go into, um, let's go into deck here. So I'm gonna move at least, okay, cause we got 772 is what I have. I have to get rid of some of these cars that are actually gonna be worth, uh, a decent amount. So let's get a ton of dragon scroll. That's worth 12. Um, how much are all these? That's 12 as well. I should probably. Well, that's a shadow, but do I want to get rid of that shit? These. Okay, that's a shadow too. I'll keep. That's 14. Um. It's another one. Well, whoops, that's the same one. Oh, this one. This one is worth 18. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Dragon statue is worth 20, and it's. See, these are the ones I want to get rid of first, because they're not... Okay, Time Wizards of Dreams. Uh, this is Man-Eating Plant. It's a shadow, though. Armored Zombie. These are fine. They're actually worth a little bit, yeah. Princess of Saruki is worth 16. Alright, Laughing Flower. 14, but it's a plant forest. Let's get rid of these. Laughing Flower. I was thinking of this one, too, but it has an effect, which makes it not the worst thing in the world. Here's a Queen's Double. Um, 
Okay. Crawling dragon. That thing is worth 28. Okay. Dark elf, another dragon zombie. Uh, how much is this one worth again? 16. Okay. Gemini elf. Um, those are all fine, I guess. Yeah, those are fine. Okay, what I'm gonna do now... I'm gonna get rid of four, but I wanna get rid of five cards in total, so I'm gonna get rid of... a... let's go with... Oh, this one is worth so little, it's not really gonna help all that much, but you know what? There, that's five cards. I wanna see the value of how much five more cards brings to the table here. Alright, so... Let's start with our 2,000 beat sticks, right? Like that one. That's another 2,000 attacker. Oh wait, I want to see... What are these? Okay, that's a forest. That's a wind. That's another forest for 24. Well, okay, whatever. That's a fiend for 25. And this one is a forest for 25. Hold on, before I go to that one. Because one thing I want to do, actually, that's a win for how much? 25. This is a dreams for 26. It might be one of the worst ones to put when you're comparing stats, but keep in mind that I need to add a dreams, at least one more in there, because I'm struggling fighting against shadows. So I'm putting that one in there. That gives me 40 right now. I think I can get away with... Two, uh, I don't know. Okay, here's what I'm gonna have to do actually. I'm gonna get rid of that, that crawling dragon because it's a 1600 attacker with basically more cost than some of these freaking 2000 beat sticks. So I'm gonna have to do that and yeah, this one. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this thing, sorry. Uh, and then Dragonist the Wicked Knight is worth 21. I'm also gonna get rid of this thing, it's just not worth it, you know, I'm getting rid of that. So that should give me a value of, I mean, a little bit back, right? We'll have to see if I can make something good out of that. Um, what I want to do is get rid of one more, probably a masked clown. What? How much is that? That's worth twelve. Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of how much is armored zombie? Fifteen. I'm gonna get rid of one of these. That's fourteen. A man-eating plant. How much is Princess Arugi? Actually, this one is 16. You know what? I'm getting rid of this thing. Alright, so this should actually let me add three more, right? To the deck. One, two, three. 837. So that's 13. So if I get rid of a. Actually, I can do one more because I have a Dark Elf. If I get rid of a value of at least 15, I can put in the Dark Elf. So you know what? I think that's actually very well worth it. At least 15. Um, the thing is, these are worth... Not nearly... Ooh, I'm one away from that one. Shit. I'm gonna have to get rid of... That one is 16. Electric Lizard. Should I just get rid of it then? Wait, why the fuck is it worth... Oh, because it's 800 defense. Damn. Well, sadly, these Yamatanos aren't worth that much. They're only 12, so what I'm gonna have to do, believe it or not, is get rid of a, um... I'm trying to see here really quickly. So, Dragon Zombies. I'm gonna have to get rid of Armored Zombie, huh? If I wanna do something with that. You know what? No, I'm getting rid of Electric Lizard. It's time. It's time. I'm sorry, but it's time. Alright, but now we actually have to find that stupid Dark Elf, which is going to be ridiculous. Wait. No, I d dude, I didn't mean to go back. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know where Dark Elf is, to be honest. Hope I don't miss it, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I got one of these. That's a... No, it's dark. I'm looking for the word dark when I'm scrolling through here. Oh, there it is. Found it. Oh wait, 849? Oh, I, I did the math wrong. Shoot. How did I do the math wrong? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Okay, um, let's, let's duel. Let's freaking duel. I'm really curious to see how this is going to work here against Dark Knight. 
But now I have a bunch of beet sticks. I should be having a lot of them. Um, I'm gonna start with putting this one in defense mode. I honestly don't really know what the hell this guy has in store here. How many spells and stuff? Let's see here. Destroyer Golem. Okay, that wasn't too bad to be honest. That, that's perfectly fine by me. Raigeki. Oh, he got killed. That was the wrong type. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I'm summoning a, um... I'm summoning one of my weaker ones right now, just to kind of gauge the situation here, because we have a lot of powerful spells, so I'll just do this for now. That's fine. It should be okay. Use Change of Heart. Control an enemy monster. Change of Heart is one of the strongest cards in the game. It's a permanent steal, which is also why I ended up using a weaker monster, but it also just leaves you completely vulnerable. Like, it's crazy. Jirai Gumo? Holy fuck, dude. This is not good because that's a Jirai Gumo, man. Um, because I could get... Oh, shit. The thing is I can't summon the freaking forest because... Oh, no, this is real bad. This is real bad. Well, um, let's see here. I mean, winds die to... Okay, I'm just gonna have to summon this thing here, I guess. But yeah, um, change of heart is just a very unfair card in this game. Like, here's the thing. For example, if he gets a change of heart, if he uses another one, I lose automatically. That's how powerful change of heart is. You're gonna have the best freaking monster cards. Okay, I'm in my last turn, and if you do a pyro, I lose. And... I have not lost. That's not a pyro. Because I can summon Jirai Gumo. Ooh, I got an Acid Trap Hole. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't, um... Wait, what the fuck? That's a Fiend, 1700, so just don't bring a Dream, which is fine. One thing I can definitely do... Because I don't want to waste my Acid Trap Hole, that's the thing. So I have an idea here. I'm not going to summon Jirai Gumo, because I want to bait you. If I summon Jirai Gumo and I set the card, there's a pretty good chance that you're just going to go into defense mode with all your cards, but not like this. Like this, I'm actually good. Oh my god, I lost. I freaking lost. Unless we tribute them both. Oh, it's not over yet. But sure. Oh wait, oh, you did tribute, you did tribute, okay. That's fine. Uh, actually, it's not fine. I lost. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was hoping that the other... God damn it. Yeah, so... This guy's gonna be a complete dominating force to you because of all these crazy... Basically, just think about it like this. These duelists don't have a deck capacity. It's very obvious. Because Change of Heart is worth, like, 200 plus. You know? Um, what the fuck? Did I accidentally... Yeah. So just keep that in mind. The fact that he has three change of hearts, three right geckies, three probably dark holes, three pot of greed, three whatever. There's no deck capacity for these guys. They're just whatever, you know? Oh my god, this is real bad. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, game? Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah, this is gonna be a struggle, a major struggle. Um, Invader of the Throne, okay. Guardian of the Throne Room. It's gonna take a long time to beat this guy five times. It's very possible, but it's gonna be incredibly difficult. We got some Earth. That's a lot. Oh, dude, what the fuck is going on here? I don't have any. Are you freaking serious, game? Are you a complete joke right now? Do you know how many beat sticks I put in? You literally haven't given me, given me a single beat stick. Dragon Zombie does not count as a beat stick. I'm sorry, but he doesn't. It's only 1600. That's not- a beef stick is at least 1800 or more in this game standards. He tributed. What an idiot. Wait. What the freaking hell? What? Is that an Earth? Oh my god, it was an Earth. This- this freaking guy. With his stupid bullshit. Alright. Well, I'm summoning this thing. If I want to have any shot at winning, I gotta be aggressive. That's the only way, because... He's probably gonna write Gekki or Change of Heart me next turn, like, come on, we know this guy's deck. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Alright, well I'm gonna attack with... Destroyer Golem, okay. I should've attacked with this thing. But no, actually, if something smarter... Will actually be to use... That. 
Sorry, you probably heard it really loud. What the f- Why did it do that? I was ho I was looking for a freaking- Oh god. You know what, I'm summoning this and not using my strong- Oh, actually. Hold on. 19. No, I'm doing this. He plays a lot of Earths from what I noticed, so that's really good for me. And it's actually fine. So I don't go with my strongest card yet, because even though I was like, I need to be aggressive, I'm gonna hold off on this turn for one reason. What is he doing? Jirai Gumo. Okay, I'll have a Pyro. Man, he plays fucking Jirai Gumo. At least I... There we go. Yeah, but as you can see, a big part of this is also just luck dependent. I hate to say this, but it is. I mean, this duel he hasn't used a single right gank or change of heart. So, I've had really good luck. But if he does bring those, you pretty much are going to be guaranteed to lose the duel. Because there's not much you can do aside from just using trap cards, maybe. It's not like there's any negates in this game. There aren't. Uh, I'm going to attack... Okay, that's obviously an Earth. Um, yeah. Because if it was anything else, he would have attacked my Yamatano Dragon Scroll. His AI is not different than any other AI, just letting you know. Don't think, oh, he's Dark Knight, he plays smartly by defending... No. They're all stupid as hell. They're all the same amount of dumb. His AI is, ex is the exact same as Tristan's AI, alright? It's 2002 Game Boy, people. You gotta keep in mind that there was no crazy AI, you know, programming during this time. Barox? Anyway, you gotta beat this guy five times if you want to advance. There's no more tiers beyond this, technically speaking, but there are, quote, secret duelists, if that makes any sense. I know it's confusing as hell. Alright, defending. Pretty good chance it's actually an Earth. He has played some lights. Um, that's where it becomes a little tricky because I don't really know. He hasn't played a single Dreams. I'm gonna go with this, and I should be fine. That was a Fiend, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I'm good right now, but let's see if he bring, brings us Change of Hearts or something. Used Shadow Spell. That's fine. That is basically an improved Spell Mining Circle. What the hell? Oh wait, no, no, it's not. It's the same thing. What? Is that a light? Oh my god, it was a light. Good. Good stuff there. Okay, I'm summoning this fiend and attacking. For 2k. I didn't even see the rest of my hand. It's fine. It's alright. I, I got some stuff here. Oh. There's a reflect bounder. That's fine. I just hope this guy doesn't play Swords of Revealing Light, because if he does, oh my god. I'm summoning this. I'm being aggressive. I'm being super aggressive in this duel. Another minus 200. Another minus 2,000. down to 3,800 life points. That's real good for me. I might be able to win. Do I have at least an 800 beast stick? I do. Let's see. I win. Alright, that's two victories now. Nice. See? That one was much easier. He used Shadow Spell, but he didn't use his powerful cards. Mainly Change of Heart and Raigeki. Those are the killers. I don't know if this guy runs Swords of Revealing Light. I honest to god hope he doesn't. That's going to be so annoying if he does, but... We'll see, right? We will see. You get a car part, and you get Curse of Millennium? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Alright. I know I beat him only twice, but here's the thing. It's, it's fucking Dark Knight, right? I don't, don't want to show off as much as possible on this guy, and I still have plenty of time in this video anyway, so... What? He discarded a card and ended the turn. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well... I'm summoning this thing. Aqua Mage, but it's an Earth, and not an Aqua. You are so logical, game. Love that shit. <clears throat> Alright, here come your spells. Brain control. Control enemy monster for... Okay, that's a lot less good than change of heart. But you tribute it, I think. Yeah. Shadow Ghoul. Does that thing have an effect? If not, it's a pretty shitty card for you to run. No, it's just a shitty card. It's a fiend. Okay, I'm gonna bring out... I guess I'll bring out my own fiend, right? You know what? I'll bring out this one, actually. 
That's cool. He used up two cards in his hands for, you know, in one turn. So he's less on card value, card advantage right now. Change of heart this time, okay? That's why I did not summon a 2,000 beat stick, in case you're wondering. What the fuck does he have in his goddamn hand? He's not doing shit. Okay, that's an Aqua, so I need a Thunder or a 2,000 attack monster. I'm gonna go with... This one. Okay, but now I'm in trouble because if he plays another change of heart, which he probably will, I don't have a way out through this. He's gonna do it. Or, okay, that's actually better than Raigeki. Or sorry, than change of heart for me right now. I'll take that. Because I did not want you to steal that freaking monster. Destroy Golem? Okay. I'm gonna bring out... I'm bringing out some weaker ones. I'm sorry, but I gotta do it because I still entrust your hand. You don't have any monsters that you're playing. You just keep bringing change of hearts and brain controls and Raigeki. So I don't want to lose my strongest cards. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Jirai Gumo is like his one true trump card, I guess, but luckily I have the right card in my hand to counter that thing. Or else I would have to rely on Acid Trap Hole. Use Shadow Spell. Now you are attacking me, Guard into the Throne Room. Okay, so just don't play Fiends, and I'm good. There's a Shadow. I'm playing, um, I'm playing a 1900 attacker. Sorry, but I don't trust it still. I still don't trust it. I know he's only going to play with two cards. But knowing AI's fucking luck in these Yu-Gi-Oh games, I can't take any chances. Another Guardian of the Throne Room. Okay. And I'm going to just summon... I'm gonna summon this thing. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm sending this because it should guarantee me the win. Regardless of what you do, you're gonna lose your monster. Okay, I wasted the car, but that's fine. Um, I will attack with you. That should be game. Yep. Alright, that's three victories now. Oh my gosh. I'm sweating over here sometimes against this guy. I don't lose. I didn't lose. I am the ultimate card master. I am invincible. Yeah, whatever. And you get the snake hair. Okay. Whatever. Alright, duel number four. I mean, we got time, right? I might just show all five of these duels in this freaking episode, and that's it, you know? Let's hope. Shiny's turn. Alright, any... Hmm. Alright, I'm actually going to put this thing in defense mode. He plays a lot of Earth, so he might actually kill himself if he attacks with an Earth monster. Use Megamorph, power up, invader of a thro- uh, Yes! That's an Earth! Yes! Fantastic start for me. Oh my fucking god. No way. How the hell? Oh, that is so unfortunate. I could have demolished this guy. And now I can't. Jirai Gumo. Oh my fucking god. I only have two ways out of this. Even that pyro card is one way. Yeah, because I can't make anything strong enough to take care of that thing. I have to just keep defending here, and that's it. I mean, it's fine. Swords is up anyway, so I can't do anything right now, regardless. Oh, thank you for being a little dumbass, dude. Tripping in your Jirakumo for a weaker monster. I love AI. I love 2002 AIs. Heck yeah. Alright, so that's gonna be weak to win, or just any freaking beat stick is fine. Um, I have all 2,000 attackers. I have two fours, so I'm gonna go ahead and spare one of these fours here. Um... I'll definitely keep you in attack mode. That's fine. Wait, you know what I should have done? I'm so freaking stupid. Couldn't I have put a, a win in defense mode to try and bait you? No, but then you would have attacked with Reflect Miner, maybe. It's possible. 
<laughs> okay, so that's three turns, right? It's over? I stopped, thank god. Alright. Uh, let's see, so... You can go ahead and attack. Okay, this should be my game unless he swords me again, which... One of the things that's very apparent in this game is that there, there's this thing of RNG, and you kind of probably noticed it already. Wait, what is that? That's an Earth, okay. You kind of probably already noticed this stuff, but, um... AIs have a really, really high chance to draw copies of the same card once they draw the first one of that. It's been it's one of the most vivid examples in this game of of that. I don't know why that is the case, but that's just how they did it apparently. Destroy Golem, alright, so I can do 4,000 damage this turn, hell yeah. Right, Gekki would be pretty lethal though, if you, if you were to bring that out. I'm gonna bring out... What do I have two of? Wind, Shadow... Fiend... You know what, I'm bringing out one of these. So I'll do 3,800 damage. Okay. Let's see what you do. Nothing. Which means that should be game right there. Invader of the throne room. Okay. Minus 2,000. And just bring out another 2,000 attacker and that's game. Oh, man. Okay, that was really good right there. That's four victories now. Only one left. I don't lose. I didn't lose. I am the ultimate card master. I don't know why I keep saying that every time. Do what I get. Slot machine? That's garbage. Alright, well. Duel number five. Here we go. Okay, I go for... Oh, I'm definitely keeping this mech lizard. That's my only pyro. It's my only out. I'm gonna go with the same strategy of putting this Yamatona Dragon Scroll and hope that you play an Earth and are a dumbass. I'm not really a dumbass in that case, but... Oh, god damn it. Brain control? Fusion of Invader? What the freaking hell? Sword Arm of Dragon? What the f... I'll actually take that. It, it, it consumed an extra card for you to make that fusion and it's... Oh, whoops. My bad. And it's not the biggest... Alright, let's see. That's an Earth with a high defense, so I have to get rid of that thing first. Okay, just don't play any... Fiends? Okay, don't play a Fiend or a Thunder. So technically Force is fine, right? And plus Wind. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll attack you, because yeah, you have a high defense stat. What do I wanna, you know? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I'm a Wind anyway, but you know what I mean. Okay, so he's down to three cards in the hand, let's see what he does. Nothing, just defending. Okay, perfect. Alright, so you definitely have to attack this one. Yeah, because I don't know that new type. Alright. And that's a 1600 defense. As long as I don't play a fiend, I'm good. Forest, earth. I'll play an earth, I think. I'm gonna keep that pyro, because I could definitely use that. Um, if he brings out his trump, Jirai Gumo, you know, I gotta be, gotta be careful of that. I'm not setting my card, by the way. There's no point to do it right now. Raigeki, there it is. I was waiting for that. At least he's down to only, you know... Oh. Oh. That's why I kept my freaking pyro card. That's exactly why. Alright, kill that shit. <sighs> do I dare? Maybe not, right? Oh, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it right now. Oh. Oh my god. Heck yeah. I'm getting up to 50 at 50. And then 1800 more. And shouldn't this give me the win if I do? I'm setting that thing. I think regardless, I got this, right? Unless you play like some freaking. Oh, actually, never mind, because that thing has over 2000 attack. My bad. My bad. It's not over. Um, okay, I can kill you at least, so well, that's good. But yeah, duel's not over. Life points are pretty close, but not for long. Oh boy. Do I want to do anything here? Might as well, right? I'm trying to get... Because if I don't draw any beat sticks, I need to at least have some high attack monsters. So I'm doing that, because I have a bunch of garbage in my hand right now. Okay. 
Let's see here. Oh, that's it. Never mind. Okay, that one that wasn't too bad. You know what? Bean soldier, get the hell over here. You're going for the win right now. Actually, hold on. You know what? Let's um That's fine. I was just like, who should get the win? That's fine, it's fine. Alright, that's it. Alright, so this I believe that's me a password. Five losses against a mere mortal? That is quite an accomplishment. I'll keep my end of the bargain. Have you got a pencil on hand? You'll want to jot this down. You can tell this game was made in 2002 when it says a pencil. Nowadays you'd be like, do you have your phone on hand with you? You know, so you can just take a picture of it or at least write it down in your notes app. There we go. Don't lose it. Alright, well, so by beating this guy five times, yes, we do get access to post-game. Post-game is very limited in this game. It's just dueling some special opponents a couple of times in here and there, but I'll show that off, of course, in the next episode. The other nice thing is I ended up getting 25 more deck capacity because I beat that guy five times. Well, that's five times five, 25. I'm at 880 now, which means, technically speaking, I could go over here. No, 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 not there. Here. And I can go into um, getting a good card, I guess. What I'm gonna do is go into deck here. Cause yeah, that's. Oh man, wait a minute. What? Wasn't I at 850? I got 30. Did I just get five by losing? Wait, do you get five every time you lose in this game? Oh my god, I don't even know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get rid of. Um, I guess one of these, right? I mean, this this thing. Sure. I'm not going to deck here because I believe if I have this right. So I think it's a lot further. None of those. Monster, me uh, mechanic, uh, no. Oh yeah, Mechanical Chaser is also in this game, and it's an 1850 beat stick. Which is actually better than- okay, here's Seven Colored Fish. I'm putting that one in there. So that puts me at 19. So the thing with these is that they're worth 28, so if I get rid of another one that's high value, technically... Where's... Here it is, this one. So this one is worth 28. And I have 90, so if I get rid of one with 9... I'm good, right? I can actually make another upgrade to my deck. I can get rid of... So that's a... That's a fiend, but I don't have any other... I mean, technically this thing, right? Just to kind of keep the ratios of these um, cards pretty even. There we go, 876, so I just put in two more beat stakes, so that should be pretty good. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like, I'd appreciate it very much, thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone, have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.